welcome to our dream team chat on a Tuesday once a month <laughs> until September. Um, we have taken a little break, uh, kind of a break from doing it weekly um, for the summer just to give us rest and just to be able to um, really spend quality time with our family and do all the things. So um, we've got tonight and then we have August and but we're so excited to be here and so grateful to Sensi for bringing us pretty much our content for tonight because yes. um, we have an awesome join special going on this month through July. And so that's what we're going to be talking about tonight is the join special and then how to sponsor people using this join special, right? How to be talking about it. Um, but this $20 join special is literally wild because mm -hmm. of everything that they've included. So there have been $20 join specials in the past. Um, it's been a, a warmer, a mini warmer and like a bar. And then you get like 20 testers and some catalogs. Yeah. And like, that's kind of it, which, which is fine. Totally fine. Um, but since you kind of like up their game a little bit and it's like, okay, you get the mini warmer, you get like five bars, yeah. right? You get the catalog testers, the art of fragrance kit. Um, and so you have really a, a variety of things going on there that make it a really great deal and a really great talking point mm -hmm. for the people who you should be talking to, which is what we're going to get into. So um, that $20 going special, that information is on your um, on your workstation, but it's also on your join page on your uh, website. And so I do want to just remind you that I see people, not necessarily here, but I do see people asking questions a lot in other groups about what does it include or whatever. And so if you can't find what you need to know on the um, news article, go to your PWS and look at the join page, right? Um, because like I, the news article didn't specify whether a person who uses the $20 join special would get the three months free for their website. But on your website under the join special, it does say that that's included. So that's a really great um, resource for you just to be able to help answer questions that people may ask you or to answer questions that may come up for you. Um, but this $20 join special is awesome and it is a perfect time to kind of kick yourself into gear for the upcoming incentive season, which we know is literally around the corner. It'll probably start in August. Um, that is what we are anticipating. And so if you are new here, our incentive periods, go, uh, our big incentive periods where we are working towards earning trips, um, start in August and go through January. And so we are on the heels, obviously, less than a month to go now. Um, and so the people that you are sponsoring this month could be the ones who help you earn it because they're promoting um, and sponsoring August in August or, you know, throughout the next six months. And so be super intentional about your conversations or even just planting those seeds, right? So even if they don't join this month with the $20 join special, um, don't slow your roll on asking people because again, it's about planting the seeds and then in the next six months during our incentive, you can definitely be watering those seeds and revisiting those conversations. So um, $20 join special is awesome. Uh, we have definitely talked about in the past, the different join specials we've had and the, the idea of like discounting the business and stuff like that. But truly we want to just like shine a light on the fact that this is a really, really awesome opportunity to be talking about with your people now because of the climate of our economy mm -hmm. right and <clears throat> and so obviously twenty dollars is a lot more feasible for majority of people when they're looking at this business and saying "Ooh, can i swing a hundred dollars you know mm -hmm. um, most people can afford to swing twenty dollars and invest that into this business and so um, i just want to make sure you guys have the right mindset stepping into this that it don't look at it as discounting this business or anything like that. And maybe you've had experiences in the past where people will join for $20 and then not do anything. Put that to the side, okay? And just do what you can and offer this opportunity to everybody because you just never know who will take this business and run with it, okay? There are a lot of superstar directors who joined $20, okay? Um, and so it is totally possible. So I'm just gonna dive into who we're going to share this opportunity with. Um, and then Alex is gonna talk about how to share it. And then um, we have a call to action for you guys. So if you have pen and paper, this is where you'd want to be writing it down because I'm gonna rapid fire. This is gonna be like kind of a quick thing tonight because mm -hmm. um, this is super simple information um, and also information that we definitely have talked about before, yep. but with this joint special, um, it's we worth revisiting. It. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay. 
who to share the opportunity with customers who have ordered twice or more. Okay. So I would say yes, if there is a relationship being built there, um, or I guess that's not true because I, I have offered the, to go an opportunity to like new people. Mm -hmm. Um, so yes, yes. Relationship, but also I think there's a time and a place to like, I say it's like customer service over a relationship in this instance, when okay. you're like offering it to someone who's like a Brit, like just ordered off your PWS. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, if you're providing good customer service and like checking in with them, yeah. asking them yeah. questions, then I feel like it's appropriate if you've like, yeah, you know, that yeah. more than yeah. like the relationship. Yeah. I guess to me that would, yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cause relationships matter. Yes. Right. But not every single customer we have, we have this bomb relationship with. No, I think I was tying in. That is, that is like a relationship sure. for us, you yeah, know, like that sure. is the customer service relationship. Sure. Um, but yes, 100%. So I would say any customer that orders from you this month, any customer who mm -hmm. orders from you this month, ask them. Yep. Okay. Um, and an even new customer. So I've asked people who have ordered from me once and like, same thing, I'll check in with them a couple of times. I add them on Facebook. I kind of see what they're about. And then I'll throw out, Hey, you know, when they're ready to reorder or, you know, we're having conversations about what they liked, I will throw out the opportunity yep. and just see. Um, and I think for me, sometimes it can be hard to like let go of my really good customers. Mm -hmm. um, but I really love diving into like, well, this, you know, I only got one order out of this person. Yep. Who knows if I'm going to get more? I hope so. But if I, if I offer them the opportunity and they are going to be a surefire customer, then they're going to be a really great consultant too, yep. you know? Um, so I would say offer it to any of your customers who order this month. Um, and we can continue to go down that list and say any of your customers who have Sensi clubs. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you want to not like overwhelm yourself, just look at whose Sensi club is running this month. Mm -hmm. Right. And offer that to them because if you can get to them before their club runs, if they join using the same email, their club mm -hmm. will, um, go to them. flip to them That's a good point. and you can use it as an opportunity to say, Hey, you're going to spend $20 on a business, but your Sensi club is 150. So you're going to make that $200 back in commission mm -hmm. with your own club. So, um, any person who has a Sensi club, processing or if you want to go down the entire list of your sensei clubbers i would do that okay um and offer them the and and you know maybe you send them a text message and say hey your sensei club's about to process you know later this week i just wanted to remind you and also just offer this opportunity it's twenty dollars blah 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 blah. okay um someone who could use extra money which by the way is everyone yeah. every single person you know could use extra money mm -hmm. um um, like I was alluding to in the beginning, the climate in which we are living in is very expensive. Okay. So um, this opportunity has a lot of financial gain to it. Um, obviously with work and it's not an overnight thing and it's not a get rich quick type of deal. Um, but with people who already love fragrance, people who are willing to put in the effort, um, there is a lot of money to be had. And there's definitely um, an opportunity to make back the $20 that they would be spending mm -hmm. for sure. Yep. That's, that's no brainer. And I think that a lot of people when talking about this opportunity with them are looking at the risk versus reward. Mm -hmm. Right. And so it's like, okay, I have to sell this much and yeah. commissions only this much and you know, whatever. But when you are talking to somebody and saying, and especially customers or clubbers or whatever, and you're saying, Hey, you spend $20, but listen, you spent a hundred dollars with me two weeks ago you would have made back your money already. So if you continue to purchase Sensi, you already love Sensi, then you are going to make money back and you can invite your family and your friends to jump in on that. And then, um, you know, that's extra money in their pocket plus making back what they've already spent on the join opportunity, on the join kit. So anybody, somebody, all people, Okay. So don't, don't count people out. Don't make assumptions. Mm -hmm. Um, we say it all the time. Like don't make up people's minds for them. Mm -hmm. You, you never know. There are doctors, there are nurses, there are, you know, people in fields where you're like, Oh, there's no way that they would want to do this little side gig. Um, but we have a lot of friends who were nurses and, um, teachers and things like that mm -hmm. who have quit their job, retired basically, and are is doing Sensi full time because this proved to be more fruitful, more uh, freedom-based, 
all the things. So don't make up somebody's mind or assume that because they are in a certain position or doing this, that, and the other, that they wouldn't want to make some extra money. College students is a really good one. Um, actually, I was talking to some high schoolers at the bakery about it. Nice. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, take this to that. college with you. Um, people who use social media often, right? That's a good one. That is such a good one. Um, I'll be totally honest with you. This isn't necessarily our list. Somebody had posted this list. And mm -hmm. so they came up with a lot of good things and we just added some stuff to it. But um, people who use social media often and are really good at posting and really consistent, um, being able to start a conversation with them and say, hey, your social media is fire. Like I admire you because of my business and I have to be on social media. So I see you and mm -hmm. your pictures are beautiful. The way you are so like... Um, approachable and your personality shines like all of those things that's a really great conversation starter yeah. um make sure you're genuine right of course yeah um but there is definitely room for you to be like you know listen like you could you'd be I, so great at this yeah you'd be so good because you know some of what sensi can be for you is having that online presence and you can be really successful in doing that um and so offering people the compliment of that and um sharing the opportunity with them in that way um, any moms or friends of yours that you run in the same circles with, um, this is also a really great opportunity. And the reason being is because it's summertime, right? And so we're all crazy. We're all busy. We're all the things, right? So if you have people in your circle who, you know, are also busy, if you're a mom and you're like, okay, I'm dragging my kid to this park and this pool and doing this and taking them to sports and taking them here. Um, and you're seeing these same moms and you're building relationship or, you know, they're customers, so it's customer service or whatever. Um, and they get to see how you're working your business on the go with your kids, being intentional, all the things. Um, if they've got a front row seat to all of that, that you're doing, then it's a really easy conversation to be like, Hey, you know, I know you're a busy mom. I love my business because it does give me a little bit of me time. It does give me a little bit of something for me. Plus sports are expensive or, you know, $3 every week at the pool can add up or, you know, don't, wouldn't you love to take your kids out to ice cream every time or whatever, like since he can provide all of those ways that can be really attractive to your mom friends or the friends that you're hanging out with or whatever. Um, so apply whatever, need they may have and use Sensi as a solution, right? Which is like the big overarching theme here, yes. right? Is to take this business and apply it to the people that you're talking to as the solution to whatever problem they may have. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so if you view your conversations like that, I think that you'll come up with content to say um, where it can be very genuine because you're looking at their particular situation and saying, hey, I see you. And I think that this business can help because, and it, and it's about them, right? Mm -hmm. It's not about you. Um, can you think of any others? Not on the spot, right? This second. Okay. Um, but what I was going to say is adding to that, the people that you're around a lot and that you see often you're building relationships with when they join this is literally from my experience and from what I've seen in your business, mm -hmm. um, people who are around you, um, and you have a relationship with when they join, they tend to be much more successful because they're around you Yeah, because they're seeing it because they have a front row seat because they have direct access to you because they're, they become inspired by you. And so hanging out with the people around you and offering this business opportunity is a huge blessing for them too, because their businesses tend to be more successful because they are literally leading, they are literally following your example yep. and you are leading by example. Um, in my opinion, that's one of my favorite ways to recruit is in-person people yep. I see yep. because I have a better opportunity of coaching that opportunity to success. You and know? more often than not, those people sometimes will ask you first about the yes. opportunity because they're like, well, this is so cool. Like yep. you're doing all this, your house smells good, you know, yeah, you know, so many people, it's so fun, you know, yep. uh, all of those things when you're showing it like that. And when you are um, bringing them into your world a little bit, mm -hmm. um, it, it is a really attractive thing. Yep. Yep. So yeah, that's a great point.
Um, okay, so let's talk about how we can share this with our customers. Again, a lot of this is just a refresher for you guys. We might have new people or obviously um, this is just a really great time to have a refresh. So um, one simple way is when you're texting them. So um, I really want to frame this differently than just like simply text them because at the end of the day, it's still very important that we get sales and it's still very important that we nourish our customer relationships. And it's still very important that we are following up with our customers. So I would say you are texting them while you are doing your follow-ups, right? So it's not like, okay, I'm going to sit down with my list and I'm going to text five people about joining. Okay, cool. Great. But also sit down with your order history and text the last 20 people who ordered with you. And if you feel it's a right opportunity to mention the joint special, then mention it. And if you don't feel like it's the right opportunity to mention the joint special, then check in on those bars or see what they think about Sunsy Club, right? Um, I don't want to skate over this joint special by saying like, just go text people about joining. Yes, we have our goal to add people to our team. We are in this season of needing to grow. Um, and so absolutely have the joint conversations, right? Um, but do it in your regular follow-ups. If you guys are not following up at least on a weekly basis, you're missing a mark in your business. So about twice a week, I'll sit down and I go through my order history or my sales report and I start following up with my customers. And when I do that, I tend to have much more fruitful join conversations than when I'm just like, oh, I have this sticky note of five people I want to talk to about joining. I'm going to go message them. Right. Um, I, I tend to do much better when it's an organic yeah. message because they're in my follow-up queue um, and I'm checking in with them because I've followed up with them many times before. Okay. Um, um, sorry, go ahead. To piggyback off that though, going back to who, people who you've had joined conversations with in the past, definitely are conversations that you could go back to and Good. just pop up pop up yes. and say, Hey, I know we've talked about this yes, before. Absolutely. And I just want to touch base with you and also just let you know that this month it's $20. Yeah. You know? Um, and that's why keeping a list of people you've had joined conversations with is very important because like Brie mentioned earlier, we're planting seeds, right? And so maybe Maybe in the last join special, you planted some seeds, right? This would be a really great time to check in on those seeds, maybe water them again um, and see if they are ready to harvest into something, right? Um, so yes, yeah, circling back and saying, hey, Susan, hope you're doing so good. Your vacation looked amazing. Hey, I just wanted to circle back because I know we chatted about you joining Sensi before. We have an amazing join promo. It's only 20 bucks to join this month. I'll send you a picture of the kit if you're a visual person like me, but it is so amazing and I'd love to show you the ropes. Okay. Something like that. I love to give as much info as I can. I, I used to follow up like uh short yeah. and like a question like, Hey, how are you doing? And then it's like, doo, doo, yeah, doo, waiting. Doo. Yeah. yeah, no. Um, now I'm just like, Hey, I'm going to be friendly. I'm going to mention something like one of my customers got a sunburn. She like, posted a screenshot where her husband called her her lobster queen. Yeah. And so like today when I was following up, I'm like, Hey, my lobster queen, Yeah. you know, like, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, be personable, but yeah. like get to the point of what you're offering that way they can reply yeah. or click on the site or do whatever. Um, but that's a really great way to like circle back with people you've had previous join combos with. Um, or if it's one of your customers, like, Hey Susan, hope you're loving those, um, sun citrus pods. Um, you know, I, I was thinking about you because we have an amazing join special this month. I think that you would absolutely love doing what I do. It's only 20 bucks to join. And I would love to give you more info or show you the ropes if you're interested. Right. Um, things like that. Texting them can be a very simple way to plant the seed, to water the seed that's already been planted, um, to inspire them to think about it. Right. Um, and Brie and I use this phrase a lot. Have you ever thought about doing what I do? Um, because oftentimes they have, and it gives you an in to have deeper conversation to help, um, answer any questions they have, talk about any fears that they might have or doubts. It really gives you the in to go deeper. So I really love that question. Have you ever thought about doing what I do? Yeah. Um, so texting is, I think honestly, the most effective way it's like, unless you're with them in person, right? Um, texting is very much one-on-one -on -one personal and you can make it personal. You should make it personal. Um, and, and that's just a tip for you guys as well. It's like, make these messages personal. We don't want to sound like a robot. We don't want to copy and paste the same message to all these people. Like do them 
a favor as a human being and just like type out a, a message mm-hmm. for them. You know, mm-hmm. like yeah. I think that in this business, like it takes 30 seconds to type up a genuine message um, and it goes a long way. Yep. I agree. Um, okay. <laughs> Next way that we can share this is by putting your face to your business, right? Post in your stories on Instagram or Facebook, do a reel, hop on TikTok, whatever platform you are using, get social on there, talk about it. And not just like, Hey, join my team. Here's a flyer. Here's a picture. Like, no, tell some stories, Mm -hmm. tell stories about what your favorite part of being a Cincy consultant is snap a quick video of your kiddo, helping you bag some samples or drop an order off at someone's door. Right. Um, get together with one of your teammates or one of your Cincy friends and take some pictures, smelling testers, and then talk about it. Um, talk about what a blessing this business is for you, whether it is financial, whether it's friendship, community, three and a half off Sensi, um, getting a coffee, you know, on, on, from your business. Like there are so many amazing reasons that we stay Sensi consultants that we love this business. And so tell stories, share why you love it. Don't just say, join my team. I'm looking to have people join my team. It's $20 to join. And then here's a bunch of flyers of join kids. No, no, no. We don't want to do that. We want to showcase ourselves because we are what connect with people. We are what have people thinking about doing Scentsy. It is not a flyer. No flyer you could ever post is going to be what sells someone on becoming a consultant or purchasing a product, okay? It's the pictures you share, the stories you tell, and the way that you connect for everything in this business, okay? So um, be social, put your face to it. Um, If you are completely uh, terrified to put your face on your stories and talk, then flip the camera around where it's something, sorry, Mm -hmm. and talk Mm -hmm. and explain something. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love my Scentsy brick. You know, you're holding your camera, pointing it at the Scentsy brick. It's huge. Um, You know, it's one of my favorite parts of having a Scentsy club, right? You don't have to put your face to it. If you're absolutely terrified, work yourself up to it. Um, but don't let it stop you from still sharing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, next way is post on your wall, right? So a lot of us are doing business on Instagram or in our VIP groups, right? Um, and so our Facebook wall might get the highlights of our Cincy business or fun things here and there, but for the most part, uh, this is, you know, I'm speaking for myself, I guess I'm realizing and for you too, um, for the most part, I keep my business stuff inside my VIP group. Um, but occasionally when fun things happen or something I'm proud of happens, I'll post it on my, um, personal Facebook wall. This would be a really great time to do that, right? When we are talking, I know I certainly will make a post about it probably during SFR time Mm -hmm. um, about how much fun we have, this amazing community, $20 to join, right? Um, You could do it where, you know, you're taking your son to get a cake pop and you are just feeling so blessed that you have this business that can provide afternoon coffee runs and a cake pop run for your baby, right? Um, Take a picture of you holding, Brie, I love that, the $20 bill, right? And post that, talk about, um, you know, you can get creative here, you guys. You guys are creative people. Um, Get creative, have this $20 relate to you in some sort of way and share that on your wall. I think that that is a really great way to share the perks and benefits of um, being a Sensei Consultant while also being a person that your people are connecting with and relate to and love. Okay. Um, Okay. Also, I think email is really good too. Uh, Brie and I love us some customer emails. Um, They work really well for me. They work really well for my audience. Um, And so I think if if you send out customer emails, it needs to be in every single email this month. Mm -hmm. Um, I will also probably do just a join email. So like right now we do like newsletter type email. So it's like a long email with like a little bit of everything in it and the join special is in it. Um, but then doing a whole other email just with the join special, I think is something that I'll do, um, this month as well. Emails are really great because you are targeting these people who are not watching your every move on social media, who are not, um, you know, online all the time or seeing everything that you post. And so this is just a way for you to get all the stuff into, um, one place for them to see. And it goes straight to their inbox. They can click it. They can come back to it. It's easy to find. 
um, they can click links from it. So I really love emails a lot. Okay. Um, so there's lots of different ways that we can share this join conversation or this join opportunity. I honestly think that the most important thing to be doing you guys is just being intentional with the conversations and connections that you're having to not let these opportunities where someone's talking about needing extra money or um, you're with one of your um, kiddos moms and she says it smells so good or she loves all the Scentsy products, right? Having those business goggles on to where you recognize that you are in an opportunity that you can mention this business opportunity, okay? I also think it's really important to be prepared. Know what comes in the kit. Have some pictures of it available. So if you're texting someone, you can send them a picture of the kit, go to your website and go to the join page and read about it. If you haven't sponsored anyone ever, or it's been a really long time, go read the FAQ where you see how much they get paid when they get paid, what all of that looks like. So you are more equipped to answer questions and, and you are more confident to have conversations because you have more knowledge. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, additionally, if you feel like this is an area that you struggle in, sponsoring, um, two things, one focus on your sales, focus on customer service, meeting new people, having parties, having events, doing things. So your sales can increase as your sales increase, you will meet more people to have these conversations with. Okay. So I think it's super important that if you're struggling, have work on your sales, focus really hard on sales. It is really hard to recruit and build a huge business when you're averaging less than 500 PRV a month. Okay. Um, it is absolutely something where it's like high sales is an essential part of this business. High sales will bring you more customers and more opportunities period. So if you are at this like standstill stagnant area of your business, um, it might be the season where you are stepping into parties or you're stepping into fundraisers, or you're stepping into bag parties, anything you can do at this point to get your sales up. Okay. Super important. Um, and then also if you are struggling with sponsoring, um, knowing what to say, knowing how to do it. Um, I really recommend diving deeper into some trainings. There are amazing trainings on the workstation, on the team page, on YouTube about building your business with Sensi, sponsoring with Sensi in particular. We've done probably three or four trainings that are recorded up on YouTube. There are hundreds of other leaders in Sensi that are sharing how they are sponsoring. So if what we are talking about is not working for you, guaranteed there is another yeah. consultant out there that will give you a different perspective that will work for you. And in fact, I want to encourage all of you guys to branch out a little bit in safe spaces, right? Don't go to a, like a drama filled Facebook group looking for good business advice, but like find a, a leader that you look up to and go to their YouTube channel and see what they have to say about sponsoring. And you might learn a lot. Okay. Um, so learning and also doing in your business and getting sales that will in turn help you be able to sponsor more. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is who to talk to and how to talk to. And now we have a call to action. Did you want to do the whole thing or just this part? Just that. Okay. So we're going to, and we're going to do it ourselves as well mm -hmm. tomorrow. Um, we're going to have five. We good... could we could do the incentive part of it if we wanted to. Okay. I don't mind that. We could do two. Okay. One from you, one from me. Yep. Okay. That is the same one. But drawing will be, we'll do the drawing on the fourth. So we'll do the thing. Or on Friday. Okay. Let's just say we'll do it on Friday. Because the fourth is a holiday. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here's our challenge. And remember what I said earlier about following up in general. Okay. Because this goes against everything I just said. Oh, so here's our challenge is tomorrow, we want you guys to have five good join conversations, okay? And we want you guys to screenshot what you're saying. We'll put up a post. We want you guys to screenshot what you're saying. One, this will give other people um, encouragement because sometimes seeing those visual words helps a lot, okay? And they realize, oh, maybe I'm word vomiting too much. Or maybe yeah. I'm not saying enough or, oh, I did this totally wrong, right? So have five good join conversations conversations tomorrow, um, screenshot them and put them under the post that we will post tomorrow morning. And on Friday, we're going to do a wheel of name and draw two people to win a coffee on us, just like the coffee wheel for showing up here. Yep. Um, you'll get two, two entries for the coffee wheel showing up, uh, for doing these joint conversations. Okay. Now I want to take it further and say like, while you're sitting there having conversations with five 
people about joining, hop on your order history tab and go down and have some join, uh, some regular follow-up conversations <laughs> as well. Okay. Yeah. Check in with your customers, see how they're loving stuff. Let them know that their order is being delivered, ask them questions. Right. And if it feels right, offer the joint opportunity to them as well. Okay. Yeah, but you can go through your list, list of Sensi Club people, letting them know, hey, you're Sensi, you know, yep. like it, yes, don't just cold message people, no. but letting somebody know that their Sensi Club is processing this month and that they would make their money back, mm -hmm. if being, that, that's, that's an organic conversation, that's yep. customer service, and that is letting them know, yep. right? And so, it's providing value, right? Yes. You're offering them options, opportunity, and solutions yep. all in one message right yeah um so absolutely i think this is such an incredible join um special for us on the month of our 20th year celebration sfr you guys i think um especially if you're going to sfr your customers watching you they're going to get so excited they are going to love seeing you do all the things and then if they have a compliment with that of, that they would be so good at it that you want to show them the ropes that you want to do this with them um that's going to pump them up okay yeah. and it might be what gets them over the ledge and so i think that's why it's so important to have those joint conversations early in the month so you can also again circle back before the end of the month and this joint special is over too yeah. okay Carson, go lay down. Uh, so, no, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, also pro tip related to SFR. Carson, go. Related to SFR, not necessarily sponsoring, but just for people who are going to SFR, I've been gone for pretty, I, I came home one day, but I've been gone for almost two weeks now. And I can tell you that like I was in the moment and I was doing things. Prep your business the first half of the month. Do as much as you can in the next two weeks that, you know, around the two weeks, if you are leaving for SFR, do as much as you can. Follow up, get yes. your parties in, do all of that stuff. Get, your, get all your sponsoring conversations out of the way in the next 12 mm -hmm. days so that when you can go to SFR, you can go to SFR and you can have some posts scheduled, you can have content, you can have, um, you can have some PRV already locked in, right? Um, and then you can just be free to be in the moment, not have to be worrying about um, your PRV and all that stuff. Because when you get home from SFR, you're going to be exhausted. And we really want you to be living in the moment while you're there. Yes. So, so. good. Great reminder. Yeah. Okay.